ba da ba 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 it's MG the Future on this lovely Thursday slash Friday, depending on where you are. It's going to be a quick little video. I want to make sure I got to you guys before I headed off this weekend. I'll be using loop-based music production techniques. I'm featuring my latest kit, which is called R&B Drip Volume 1. I'll be showing you my favorite effects, arrangement, pitch, time stretch techniques, you already know what this is about, so give me a second to share this link, although this is a midnight live of the sorts, and I'll be with you. For now, let's play a remix. Let's see if they're going to um, block the video because of the acapella or the sample. <laughs> Hate to see it. my soul hey what's good everyone my name is mg the future thank you for joining me on this lovely midnight of the sorts i wanted to do this video before i left don't know how many days i'm going for this time probably just a couple but i want to make sure i did this um shout out to modern day mowgli who's first ada sean j second composer slim with the woe trevor bailey aka piff says checking in what's up tribe elijah quentin's in the building trevor bailey king Lemuel. And it's midnight here, but it's probably like 9 o'clock on the West Coast. So, salute to you guys. And I think the people way out there in Denmark, Copenhagen, and all that stuff, they're waking up. So, we're going to cook real simply put. This is R&B Drip Volume 1. That's why I'll be using the loops from the drums. I'm probably going to use Trapanese Volume 5. It, uh, I wanted to do like a reel. Because I think I can use this video and chop it up and make a one-minute reel for like uh, the top five, blah, 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 blah. In this case, I think I'm going to do like top five, but not really counting ways to process loops when you buy loop packs or composition packs. 
I mean, it's kind of important, I think, um, depending on uh, how serious you take this thing. So let's jump right into it. Let's not even, let even play around. Um, I'll be in FL Studio for Mac, of course. RB Drip Volume 1 comes with 20 compositions, of course, and 20 scalar sets, too. You um, just copy and paste the scalar folder to your scalar user presets thing. Maybe I'll show you guys that first. No, because the video title says loops, right? All right, let's we'll start with loops, god dang it. These are all R&B loops. So these are like uh, very smooth, criminally smooth, jazzy, neo-soul, late 90s, early 2000s style chord progressions and sound selection. And the intention is, is to treat it like you're going to speed it up and sample it and put some New York drums on it, like they've been doing all year. Or time stretch it to be faster and do the daggone, what are the Miami-based Detroit drums? Either way, you're out of here. I think it was Roshane who was like, hey, we need some R&B loops. And I was like, I don't really have that. So here we go. We got time today, cuz. Uh, let me see. How do we, isn't there a shortcut for Fruity Loops so you let the whole sample play? Because Fruity Loops is notorious for just playing the first part. actually love that so I have the BPM match and I kind of have them key match now here's the thing when I got the key detection on this I know it's lying so that key you see is in there does that chord is in the chord progression but a lot of these are in Dorian and Lydian so what you'll probably have to do is melodyne them after you chop them up and repitch them just to get the if anything just to get the bass tones so your 808s are in key with it and I'll show you that, of course, if I working in that tempo, just so when I chop this up, it stays aligned when I time stretch or change the tempo. And I'll show you that right away. So the first step is just chopping up the compositions for arrangement. Boom. So 144 beats per minute because Fruity Loops is goofy when it does exports. So zoom into the beginning or if you're on the NPC, make sure you adjust your start time thing and get rid of that breath, that little gap. Whenever you process stuff through hardware, blah, blah, blah. There's no delay compensation. Whatever. So, we're going to put the metronome on, and you do this for all loops, not just these. Any Anytime you want to make sure everything's aligned before you start getting heavy, cutting up stuff, serrating those stuff, or adding drums to it. So, we're going to do that. <laughs> So we know the tempo is good. So as long as that metronome's clicking, especially with like stuff that has like arps or rhythm elements, the rhythm elements supposed to be, you know, as close to the grid as humanly, reasonably, musically possible. Now I'm gonna go ahead and chop these up. This is like four bars, I believe. And you can clearly see each one is a chord. So I'm gonna chop them up into four pieces. Just for visual aid, I'm gonna offset them. So technically, all of these loops begin with the hook. So that's the most exciting part. I don't want people to play like a regular bland piano and get impatient and not hear the next 10 seconds. So I, I reverse these. So technically, if you're just gonna use these as like a basic just add drums thing, you start with the second half of the sample and it leads up to the hook. You know what I'm saying? So you start like here. Add a riser. So on a very, very, very mundane level, you would take this, loop it four, eight, 12 times, and then put the hook twice after it. You could do that for every last single loop in this pack and then add drums and a bass. That's how most people, I think, kind of think about it. But we're gonna go deeper than that. So we have these split up. Now I'm gonna go into their preferences. And let's make sure resample is on. Let me see if I can slow this down and see if this time stretches with me. Oh, it doesn't. This is criminal. Brother, if you don't stretch, father, stretch my hands. There we go. Okay. All right, 
right, so we're going to move on to the next techniques for these. Salute to Touchstone. What's good, bro? Skiller says it's alt-click to play the whole sample from the browser in FL Studio. I appreciate that. They come with a scalar set too, Trevor Bailey? Yes, sir. Yeah, the scalar set's pretty cool. It's like a... It's jazz and Japanese. It's like... It's going to sound hot as hell with ARPs. Put it to you like that. If you have like Electra or a good ARP engine... I'm telling you, boy. I'm telling you. Shit, this, this particular set of stuff... You'll see. You'll just... You will. You'll see. You'll see. So anyway... Let's modernize some of this. Let's make uh, the most simple thing. What would Drake do? So I'm going to take just one of these real quick. Click on that. Make it unique. I'll move it out of bounds real quick. And the most common and probably the most popular looping mechanism right now is reverses. I'm assured most of you guys know how to reverse your sample in free loops. You literally just click reverse. Now the problem is with reverses when given chord progressions... The last chord is the first chord, vice versa. So pay attention to that. Oh, it's got a little oof. It got a little ugh. It's got a little extra nonsense here. So I'm going to have to cut these. Well, at least it's exactly off. Meh. Still not a fan of the fuckery, but we'll be okay, I suppose. So I'm chopping these into individual reverse chords, and I'm just going to reorder them last to first so that the integrity of the chord progression stayed intact. I have a feeling this is off too. Hmm. Something like that. I want it to work so bad, but it's like, nah. Let's see if we add drums to it. Let's see if we'll catch this downbeat. All right, I'm going to go to Trapanese volume five, baby. But the real question is for you guys who are with me in the chat, why are you guys still awake right now? You my East Coast heads, that is. What's, your, what's, your, what's, your, what's going on in y'all lives? What's, what's up? What's, what's up when the late night creep on the YouTubes? What's up? What's up? Talk to me. You know we're using rim shots because that's what all the cool kids are doing. Oh yeah. I feel like it just wants to annoy me. I really do. I feel like it doesn't even care. That's definitely. I do not mind. I do not mind working for it. Okay, I know I know how to handle this. <laughs> Double it up, sir. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. Yeah, so what I'm doing is I'm micro chopping this to create an even uh, timed phrase in reverse because for, for whatever reason the last piece of this loop is like they gas me they uh they stole like a millisecond of the sample from me it's okay we'll make adjustments as such change that tempo one more time too now that we got that in reverse that's the big thing too make sure you guys are changing the key of loops because if anything especially like when you buy stuff that's like really popular from the bigger websites and people do that damn uh CD baby loop sound signature thing and like they penalize you for using the same loop in a loop pack as some other beat maker. A lot of that is circumvented by pitch. So most people are lazy though. 
they'll get a C minor sample, make a beat in C minor, call it a day. Nothing wrong with that, except for when a thousand people have it. So I would, I typically shift everything to my favorite three keys. Out of 12 keys, I pick three that I love. And most of everything that I make intentionally goes to those three. <laughs> just a just random blurb. Now we gotta get this leveled correctly. Let's turn that down, buddy. Yes. And then my best friend. So this is kind of tip number two. Your software effects or your, your plugin effects. Um, Lo-fi, halftime, reverse delay, sound toys, all that. I'm gonna do halftime. I haven't used halftime in two months. I think we call that a tolerance break. Let's bring it back. Do we have the key? Dang, it could be it could be A minor, it could be A flat minor, could be G flat minor. I don't like those odds. I don't like that could be A flat, G flat stuff, brother. Don't like that at all. But we'll try. G is close to A flat, brother. Uh-huh, and then we're gonna pitch you, brother. Uh, does the G main pitch cut itself mono? You know the rules. You know the rules. All right, let's let's see. They said it was. What did I say it was A flat allegedly, which is really close to G. I think that's it. And that's the thing, if you can find a root note, you don't have to pitch your 808s, especially for like the Drake records, or even if you get into like the Memphis 21 Savage Drake records, like 3-6 Mafia style, that 808 don't pitch too much. T.A. Keith, that 808 don't pitch like that. But you gotta be careful though, that only works like on one bar, two bar melodies. If you had, literally have like a four bar, beautiful chord progression with R&B shit, what I would do is take these loops and cut them in half. Speaking of which, Let's do that. Let's cut this part in half. I'm gonna re I'm gonna re reverse it. And I'm gonna try to put the goddamn. Where did my drum pattern go, dog? Okay, whatever. Oh, I'm in the wrong section. I'm bugging. There we go. Yeah, that. So just half, right? Just like a one bar pattern. Especially for like that hyper pop, little Kodak, Uzi Vert, all them type beats. That's it. You try it on both. Try it on all of them. I would bring that back. And I know you're asking like, but what about the second part? I would split it into twos. I would do like A, A, B, B. If you need the rest of the chord progression or you want it to resolve like that. Let's put God 
particle on this too. We ain't playing around tonight. Let's go. What's good, Bartron? What's good, Rashane? Exapil says, I was asking everyone earlier, why are they here at this time of day? Trevor Bailey says he can't sleep. I know that vibe. I can't sleep either. Exapil says, I never sleep well at night. Is that because you guys are overthinking? Are you guys worried, anxious? Or is it like a call and response from like working? Rashane's in the building. Trevor Bailey, Z Zounds looking at NPC Live. I know that's right. Hey, everyone. Immersive, 3 a.m. at 3 a.m., something like that. Greg Johnson, yes, try. Pitch that bitch so it doesn't snitch. Let's Come on now. Come on. That's it. Come on. Let me, let me switch to some other samples, too. That one I like a lot. That one's very ethnic, if you will. Drop a Japanese. Drop a Japanese. It's something like that. All right, back to R&B Drip Volume 1, Mad Loops. Whoa, brother. Every time I hit Alt Click, it closes the phone. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, we are. Uh, that shit's at 186 beats per minute, so Bruno Mars it if you want to. But I'm going to slow it down. Again, you woo, woo, woo. There we go. Bring me that back, boy. Bring me that. too fast right but at least we have the spacing that we need let's uh, switch this to stretch pro Brother. it might be worth speeding this up how can I do that shorten it then stretch it right ah! I changed the, uh, there we go. No, 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 there we go. Yeah, something like that, okay. And I send it to the mixer real quick, to halftime. Stop playing with me. try to pitch it up because it's more common lately that they're pitching up rather than down that's not even the right key but we're gonna pretend like it is okay for the loops themselves let's say you wanted to you had just a two bar loop and you're like all right we could loop this for 16 but what happens if we want to do like a break or a hook or something you make one of them unique 
make unique should create a copy so that when you affect it, it doesn't affect the original. So in this case, we want to change the pitch. We up this 500 cents, five steps. So we can drop it negative seven, which would make it negative 12 in all. So we're going to play the octaves game. You can arrange high, high, high octave to low, low, low octave. Next toe shirt. Hell yeah. Chilling, chocolate slayer, hey. I like that. The other mechanism that we have at our mercy, what was that, E flat minor? Hold on real quick. I don't wanna change that 808 again. E flat. We'll see if Serato sample is gonna be nice to us and align this to grid. When it doesn't align it to grid, I just feel like taking it out back and just ending everything, but. Uh, we might we might get lucky, I don't know. Because for whatever reason, if it doesn't time the BPMs correctly, it doesn't matter what you tell Serato. It's like, hey, we're gonna time stretch it to the tempo, not your tempo, like what? Love it. It already, if it's on beat, fell off beat, the hell? Stop playing with me, cuz. There we go. I knew I wasn't bugging, bitch, if you don't stop. Effectrix, Looperator, Tornado, aka tip number three, use Sugar Bites plugins. Stop playing yourself. So, Effectrix is the easiest one to use for like musical loops, I think. Looperator is the best for drum breaks or stuff like that, in my humble of opinions. I love reverse set to eight reverse or quarter reverse. It just works. <laughs> creates uh, space too because we're assuming this sample is going to mesh with your drums and it's probably not so what do we use pull tech pro and cut the 300 <laughs> 
Don't we? we need to drench this pause. Let me pitch it up actually, though. What does it sound like chipmunked out? That's better for trap. Like that higher pitch is like, I like low pitch because it's like Drake in Toronto, but we're not in that season no more. It's a hard habit to break, though. I'm gonna be honest with you. But I pitch it up like on some Just Blaze chipmunk shit and then halftime it. Even yeah, I said halftime, not Hall of Fame, although it's pretty much the same thing. But we're not gonna do that. It would blend it. It, cut it down a little bit or not though not really we ain't got to we got a lifeline let's see what he's talking about what are you talking about buddy old recording <laughs> sounds better but it's too bright who got the ill ass filters i still haven't found a digital ill ass filter there's some good ones rx950 is good it's just one tone maybe we need the other one the sp950 right or s what is it called sp1200 not really SP950, yeah. Oh, yes. Yeah. And I know we got more sample than that, don't we? Because that's like part one, but then we need a part two.
like a Pierre Bourne type of vibe if we do it that way. Stop again. Now we need more of the oomph. Brother, wrong pattern. Hold up. Let's. crazy i like that one i like that synth a lot Bytron says the now catch a replay while driving tomorrow ronald simpson just soaking up some game shogun with the fire emoji super mod slice and dice you act like you know big chilling chocolate slayer trevor billy says jermaine dupree r and i know that's right great johnson mg is too early in the morning to be hitting us with disrespect disrespectfully fire vibes yeah i appreciate that so that's basically the gist of it so what else like tip number three we got four and five what's my favorite thing to do with loops Usually if I find a good loop, bro, I'll just loop it. I ain't playing. Like, I ain't got that time. I'll just loop it. Like, I won't even. By the time I add my textures and stuff, you won't recognize it. So. Oh. Oh, my God. I hate when I do that. I knock my earring back out, bitch. What in the cubic zirconia is going on? Ah. Let's find another one. <laughs> that one's fucking fire. I don't care what I was talking about. Give me that. Question is, do I remember how to do drill? Probably not, right? No. Contrary to popular belief, it's nothing like riding a bike. Drill is more darker, ain't it? 
We do have to shave off that low end on the strings if we do this. Other joint back mask this guy right here only do like 30% on this somehow or another guess that Pokemon you gotta guess this key too Jesus Christ that that reverse is crazy where's the 808 at I thought we did this already why did it take my 808 away Jesus That's not the key. It is kind of. Except for on that last one. And then because we still have the whole file there, we can do other parts as well. No, wait, wait. We gotta go to hold. We gotta go. We gotta go to whole distance with this one. Yeah, we gotta do it like this. And put the Munch acapella on it. I know that's right. El Kujay said, El Kujay said, once you got a good loop, the beat's halfway done. Shit, me, bro. Over and over and over again. Every time. It's not even, it's not even close. Like, you're right. If you're a loop bass or like a sample bass producer and you get good loops, bro, all you gotta do is hear like a, the first phrase of an R&B chord. Wing, 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 and you're like, oh, that's it. I'm out of here. Like, <laughs> Slow down, relax. Let's let's do that in here. Let's calm the hell down. Uh, that's too fast.
This prey isn't right to vote. Japanese four high hats are dope too now. Good nerve vision, average Joe, Christos. Y'all say G minor, y'all be lying. Ah, that's G for sure. So Serato got it on point. Serato's guessing the guesses. You know what I'm talking about? It's ridiculous. So you get 20 of those. Doesn't cost much, so you make quite a few beats. You could probably make five beats out of this pack without feeling like you're bored. I know I buy mad loot packs, so I try to make at least three. Three from each loot pack. Up front. But later on down the later on down the line, all of it's sounding them food. But up front, if I get three bangers. Three songs, three sales, whatever. It's what the time well spent, in my humble of opinions. As long as there's something in there. And then, of course, for fun, I added the scalar version of some of these progressions. So, we'll play some of those. I need an ARP, though. So this way, like, if you don't want to use the audio, the audio for the NPC users is going to be dope. But let's say you're like, fuck all that MG, I want to make my own type of stuff. I just need better... R&B or smooth, jazzy, neo-soul progressions. Oh, really? It's funny that you should say that. Because right here we have R&B Drip Scalar Edition. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's turn. Yes, yes, yes. So you go turn that off for the boy. Slow that down.
is a Japanese one. You gotta be careful with that. Hold on. But let me route it anyway, baby. Electra, boogie, woogie, woogie. Gracias, como esta ustedes? De nada. Ahorita we. Okay, 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 okay. If I'm using Scalar's ARP, I don't need ARPs. Yeah, ho. Turn that down. That sounds like some loud ass Game Boy shit. Let's slow it down. There we go. Turn that off. Oh, I could catch that. in C sharp you know I love fucking C sharp we ain't even gotta talk about it we ain't gotta talk about C sharp but let me try a different sound though type of beat you just start with the bass you don't even play with that you just hear Jeezy go yeah you know what I'm saying can't stop the snowman or something I don't know why he wanted to stop the snowman how do you stop though how is that even a thing how do you stop in my greatness right here fuck out of here Fruity Loops, you're drunk, dog. You drunk as hell. This should be short. Whatever, bro. Always messing with my emotions. I don't like that. F. Something like this. Jesus, bro. So the first key is F sharp. The first key is Jeff Shaw. Brother, 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 stop fucking with me. The first key is a sharp bitch. Okay, the next one is A. Shit me. And then the last one before it switches to C sharp. Bye. Let's, let's do it like this. <laughs> I will 
always forgot those type of beats. Them old school South Beats. Spooky real quick. That's a crazy chord progression. I didn't I didn't know that progression went off like that. That shit really snapping. Which one is that? That is a, it's called bedtime. <laughs> it's a romantic chord progression, but 
Jesus Christ with that uh that scalar classical arpeggio. Sheesh. It's like shorty red type feeling to it, right? Then you just layer your bass with a kick on some Metro Boomin shit, dog. You out of here. Yeah, we're all out of here. stuff with this. I didn't, I didn't think about it that way. Hmm, we'll try a few more presets so y'all can hear them. They're really good. They're really good. They're really good. I don't know if I'm going to consider this chord book volume 9. I doubt it. But it's going to be like a random chord book that only a few people are going to have because they're gonna, only a few people are going to realize there's a chord book with this pack. Um, if you're just jumping in, we're talking about this right here. R&B Drip Volume 1. Now available at mgfuture.com. Link in the description below. Support the support. Help your boy stay great and stuff so I can keep teaching you guys all the cool production and stuff. That'd be nice. Um, Output. Bongo. We're going to go into a different territory. We're going to go to atmosphere real quick just for the culture. Just for the fucking, for the fritz. Fritzing on atmosphere. Fuck out of here. Fuck out of Maybe Brother Fuck out of here Thank you Turn you off There she go Alright R&B drip Let's see What's good, Trap? You know what I'm saying? It's really easy to just lock in with this particular set. I'm telling you, do it with ARPS. Do you fucking listen to me? Use ARPS and then do like regular piano pads and bass behind it. But trust me, these chords are for ARPS. Don't know why. Don't ask me. Don't ask me how a bunch of RB chords work for Trap. I don't get it. 
We ain't supposed to get it. Just do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Think about that. Mm. And we're going to take the R&B arrangement philosophy from my other video and apply it to this. We can't mess this up. It's hard. It's, it's be impossible to mess this up. You just layer it. Don't be a hero. You said you wish you had a good understanding of this? Why don't you have a good understanding of it? Salute everybody. Shout out to you, Slim Trill. Sullivan Software, appreciate you, Trap Buddha. John, what do you don't what do you think you don't have an understanding of? Because I bet you have an understanding of it. You just might be overthinking something that I'm just doing over and over again. It's really nothing changes. try that. I don't know if I'm a fan of that shit, but we you shall see young boy. What key does it start on again? It starts on F sharp minor. Brother, brother, go to view, helpers, scale highlighting, F sharp minor. Thank y'all. Y'all see where I'm going with this, right? You see how simple this is? This is fucking, it's effortless with this particular setup that I got going on here. Sir, I need, god dang on. Why you lying to me? You know damn well that's not a six beat. Why this thing playing with me, dog? How come we don't have an actual Something's wrong. Those aren't thirds, cuz. Oh, Lord Jesus. Wow, come on now, slow down. Why didn't that work? I can't do it. Like, I, I want to do it in, like, never mind. Yeah, I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about. It's okay. It's all right. It's fine. Hmm. 
Psych out your mind. We're just gonna keep following that motif. You know what's so funny? Sometimes I'll be on Facebook and they recommend me this kid, this white dude named Jay Peasy, and he always making like Detroit mob type beats. And like he'd be so excited, but he has like a monotone face. Like he has no facial expression, but he'd be mad animated for his beats. He was his reason or something. He's like, I'm the only one out here doing these mob beats like this. And I was like, sure you? Nah, I don't think so. You using the same two chords. I could do a mob beat out of any sound. Whatever though. We, I, I, I don't leave comments on him. I let him think that he's the only one that knows how to do that. He's not. He's not even, whatever. Shout to him.
What's good, Adam? That's R&B Drip Volume 1. Scalar presets used to make the last two beats, and then the loops were in the first half of the video. If you've come in stumbling in late, I didn't want to keep you up all night with this stuff. I just wanted to make sure I tested the product and everything worked and sounded good. And actually, the scalar part is way better than I thought it was. Because I've had those chord progressions forever, and I just never made them into scalar until I heard these loops. I was like, oh. I should probably use those because see quiet as it's kept i don't know i can't oh well, i don't know how to count that but these chord progressions what's different about them well some of my other chord books have chords like this but these in particular i know i've sold over and over again so these are like they're good chord progressions but they're not just like they're like chord progressions that worked like, I have a lot of good chord progressions, but not everyone can sing to them or make them a song kind of thing because of the voice and harmonies and stuff. But those, this folder in particular, all those were sold. So hopefully that cycle loop energy will wear off on some of your beats. As long as you do not go against the diatonic scales. Do not, I repeat, do not do no passing tones. Just keep everything in the chord family, please. Pretty please, don't do it. Just, just trace. Don't even worry about it. You can trace any of the notes. It doesn't matter. As long as you're tracing, do not go in between and color tones unless you know what you're doing. Or if it's a lead or like, like an actual melody melody. But all that supporting character sounds like I just did, don't don't you cross those tones. Adam McCree says, ain't nothing checking in on the homie. I appreciate you stopping by, bro. Thank you. King Phillips says, shit about to get stupid. I thank you. Jayon says, that's dope. Lonzo says, too fire. What's good, Lonzo? I haven't seen you in a minute. The nighttime thing is better to catch you, some of you guys. That's what's up. Y'all remember to leave comments on the videos if y'all watching the replays if I don't see y'all normally. What's good, Akira the Don? We done cooked up like 80 beats, Akira. And the crazy shit is, I've only been live for an hour and a couple of minutes. And I think I did, what, like, five different... Nah, not whole beats, but, like, ideas. Like, that's the most... Like, that's ridiculous. To be honest with you. That's ridiculous. That's a little bit too much. I think Knife Wonder said he was doing five a day. I think I just did five in an hour, so... You, you tell me what North Carolina is about. Anything else y'all want to see from the pack? Let me know. There's a few more loops. There's 20 loops, like I said, and 20 chord progressions. And then, of course, the chord progressions you can reuse a lot. So use ARPS. Strongly recommend it. <laughs> Jayon says, I wish I had a good understanding of this. It's scalar itself. I have to get more practice with the workflow. It's intimidating. Scalar workflow 101, check this out. I got you on the I got you on the scalar thing. Scalar's easy when you're using presets, right? So using scalar for presets. <clears throat> we'll open up scalar two. There you go. Alright, so first thing you want with scalar, ideally, is a MIDI controller. You see what this MIDI controller is? Pay attention to what C range you're in. Now, in this case, let's say you loaded custom presets into it. And we'll pick one, right? You want to trigger these so you can audition. So this little A with the link right here, what this is telling us is any chord blocks here is about to be locked to this range of keys on your MIDI controller. So on my MIDI controller, I'm hitting C, D, E, F. And you see it light up in white here. Those are keys I'm hitting. When you turn it off, they're just blue. They're just the scale or the keyboard. But if you lock it, now each of these represent each of these blocks. So far, so good. Uh, voicing in 
and lock the voicing. Don't play with me. Vivace. So you just audition that. You just listen to these things. This perform slash performances. If you're here, you click on performances and you can get phrases too. Now you can cycle through all the presets. So instead of playing that each time, I'm gonna record it. I'm gonna record it at this tempo. just quantize these triggers to trigger each of those presets or chords and now we can just flip through them without doing anything but hit the play button and if you're working in a particular song key or idea you look for the one in the chord progression that's the key of the song so this one chord you'll see it's like a one chord a two chord a three chord a six chord corresponds to a scale in these chords here, one through seven. The main ones, of course, is one, four, five. In this case, one, four, and five is major. So the one is A, B, this key is A, B major. So if you're working in C major, you can transpose it right here up to C major until that first key turns to a C. Now it's in C major. See what I'm saying? And you just keep going through presets until you get the key and the vibe you want. I like minor chord progressions personally, especially for like trap. So the theme of this is R&B drip. All these will work as R&B if you get the right arpeggio. Remember, click on perform. Phrases is really good. Performances is the avant-garde classical stuff. I like that too, especially on ARP sounds or synths. But phrases is for like the easy keys play style stuff, in case y'all didn't know. So this is like your R&B cheat code. That piano sounds really good too. I don't know a contact piano that sound like this. If I did, I'd have it. But anyway, you see what I'm saying, Jaylon? You just, when you're using these expansions, this is all you're doing. You're not, you're not writing a letter home to your mom or nothing. You're just like, yo, I like... Pretty Loops, I'm gonna click on this gear icon so I can get to the settings right here, or wrapper settings. Output port, so I want the MIDI coming out of Scalar to port one, in my example. And then now we can assign this to a new VST. Um, Omnisphere, you can never go wrong for real, for real. Um, if you know what your presets are. So I'm gonna go to the gear icon here, input port one, so those two numbers match. Out from Scalar, into Omnisphere. Once I'm into Omnisphere, go to keyboards, pick my favorite presets. I got a few, just a few. Should have a lot more, but I only have a few. Organic DX1 is like the best keyboard in Omnisphere for the uh, 
um, chill stuff, especially if you lo-fi it or filter it, don't tell nobody because I haven't told nobody. I told y'all because it's special. See what I'm saying? Hopefully that makes sense, Jayvon, uh, Jayon. Don't take my word for it. Try it out yourself. They said it's in D, right? So up 200 cents. Yeah, something like that. Drake and DJ Khaled for free type sound.
straight. For Shane, what genre is good for performance mode and scalar? Performance mode and scalar, uh, the classical stuff works well for trap. As long as you do it in like an ARP format. Use the classical. Oh, so when you click on performances and scalar, like you're going to start with performances. That's the default. But the, all this shit right here, especially moderato, all of them really. This one, common performance is chordal. Like all of this is like generic. So you assign it to your favorite synthesizer. You're fucking out of here. It doesn't, this doesn't matter. The rest of them, you're going to notice, like, if you listen to, like, classical performances or movies and stuff, you'll catch, like, a, you know, your brain will catch, like, oh, that sounds like that, the Nutcracker and shit like that. Use that on everything else, like pianos and shit like that. And since the idea isn't so much this playing style, you have to worry about a genre, it's how much you feed it. So, like, for a trap beat, you only need two chords, like... It's just back and forth. And you practice with it like that with just two chords, a one and a four, or a one and a five, or a four and a one, or a five and a one, or a four and a five, or a five and a four. So that's one and four. Watch, you'll see. I'll, I'll record that. pretty much why I gravitate towards Scalar. Because Scalar has like, oh man, Easy Keys has like the more realistic play styles for like, if you want to sell a ballad or a bridge walkover with Easy Keys with their play styles, it'll work. But if you're just making like two bar music or two chord music and you just need ARPs, because like, for whatever reason, you know, like most of your synthesizers have a built-in ARP, but they're very basic. They're like up, down, random, shit like that. 
think of these as like more human arps. When people are like left, right hand and shit like that and they're crossing their hands over. More exciting, I guess. And I feel like for me personally, like if I start with an arp and I hear the different notes and the different melodies are being triggered, then when I trace the actual melody or whatever, it's, the beat's done. Because the arp is the chord and the melody, then you reinforce it with chords lower, you reinforce it with pads, which are the same chords, but I use fifths or fourths. Then you fucking put a lead or some type of plucky melody or whatever your sonic palette is, right? But everything has a role, bottom, middle, high, you know? You get a nice arp and you know what these chords are because you can just drag them out of scalar when you're done. Oh, and that's why you push them to the bottom. So you have to put them down here for uh, Fruity Loops to record them. I'll show, you, I'll show you what I mean. So I'm gonna pull this one down. Just those two chords, a one and a four. So one add nine and a four. We want to tell this one to lock up so it's triggered down here, right? Are you not going to trigger both of them now? Oh, because the key is on four. Ah, oh, shit, me. Brother, just don't play with me. But we want to see what those notes are so we can copy them to more sounds, right? So right click, burn to current pattern. We want to just let this go through. Fruity Loops is going to transcribe what Scalar's ARP is doing and give you the real notes. Then you take it off the Scalar channel and you paste it to your Omnisphere Electra or whatever you got. Then you can clone that or you know insert a new instrument and then keep going, which is what I do, right? Like I said, you got the chord or the melody, you pretty much finish. You just add a goddamn pad. It, you just let the pad lead you to the hook, bro. You know what I'm saying? I look for the top keys to see what the intervals are. This is like high, low, high, low. Uh, what the fuck? But we know at least it's just the same pattern. So we can copy and paste it, right? You can just copy and paste it. And we can, it's a pad. It's probably got to be higher. clone it one more time and melodies can be plucks bells leads i love leads but honestly there's like three leads left like a triangle a sign and a super saw but i love them still i still fucking go for them whatever lies So that's like a regular piano. Okay, so with a regular piano, we're gonna reinforce the bullshit at the bottom. thinking about nothing you just see it you don't want everything too congested that's why i use less notes and accords for the additional sounds they're kind of just there for moral support you're really not going to hear them you can but fuck for what we don't know we'll do the melody up there fuck it all right so there's some some jiggly
some shit like this. And drop that now. <laughs> That's more romantic up there. So that's why you take your chords you want, you move it to the bottom, and then tell right click on the channel, burn to MIDI. You'll get the main MIDI data and then use ghost channels and trace the rest of your parts and you're fucking out of here. That's it. You don't go no further than that. And that's without knowing how to use Scalar. If you just follow this last 15 minutes, you'll, you'll eventually learn Scalar, but trust me, it's like, it's treat it simple and it will be simple. Now, when it comes to analyzing stuff or coming up with music theory hacks or like, testing out different progressions and stuff and using its helper tools to suggest chords and stuff, that's a whole nother monster. But presets and go, pick a preset, change the key, pick a play style, performance, arpeggio, assign it to a VST track or get the MIDI out and put it on a new instrument. Voila, practice just that process, just that process, do, 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 do. And you'll be knocking out like, quote unquote, professionally composed beats in seconds. Just seconds. Mufasa says, that's a G damn hit. I appreciate you, Mufasa. Thank you. What if I want to change the performance of the last chord? Is that possible? No. But if you want multiple performances per chord, then you just go back into Scalar again and pick a different performance that you want. Like, so let's say there's, I don't know how I would explain that because I would freestyle it, right? So you pick one performance, A, for what we just did, and then you pick another performance B, let's say for instance, this one is El Dorado, oh, FL's doing that bullshit. But this is El Dorado or whatever the fuck, now it's on Facil. So now with Facil, we can right click, burn the MIDI again. Oh, if a fucking chord was triggered. So that one's more spruced up. But either way, we're going to burn it to MIDI. This time I did it on a new pattern just so I can show you what you're talking about. So you're saying you want an ABAB type thing. You want this last chord. You son of a what the fuck. You want this last chord to be something else. Cool. This is the something else. I'm going to copy that command C in the piano roll, go back to my original pattern, go to the place where that would go. That goes here. Okay, so it overlaps. We're not going to paste yet. We're going to delete first, then we'll paste. Jesus. Okay. Boom. That's how you do that.
You feel me what I'm saying? Like it's I know I'm going through it faster than usual because I've used court um scalar so much to make court books. So I can run through it pretty fast, but I'm telling you, I'm only using ten percent of that program. And that ten percent of scalar is like powerful as shit. That's why I was always excited about it. For several reasons, but that's the big one. Once they started adding performances and play styles, I was like, oh, they're trying to take over everything. You really don't need nothing else. I mean, not for a while. Music theory don't change too much. You just put the shit in a different key and make a different beat with a different VST the next day. Like, it'll just free you up. It'll free you up, especially if you have beat block and shit like that. Or if you, you're stumbling into a style or flavor, you normally don't play yourself, so... This is more so my quote-unquote taste. And you just add it to your palette and whenever you stuck or caught up. But yeah, if you want to do that hyper-pop, motherfucking Playboy Cardi, all whatever those sub-genres of trap are, this is it. And then if you're just doing pure R&B too, it'll do it because these progressions are from pure R&B beats. So hopefully you guys enjoy it, man. Um, link in the description of this video, of course. I'll send out an email in a little while. I guess it'll come out to y'all in the morning. And um, I'll be off this weekend. But I'll be back beginning of early next week. So I just want to make sure this video is up there. Because I know people have questions like, Hey, you dropped a new pack. Where can I see the demos? Voila! MG the Future Style, live. How many beats was that? 8, 20, 50? And that's just me fucking around. And mind you, I'm already tired from putting all this shit together for the past couple of days, so. I'm in my fucking flow state or whatever it is, but yeah. Hopefully this helps you get in flow state, too. Shout out to Average Joe Beats. I'm working on a track while I'm watching you had to open up Scalar and go to your court book. I appreciate that. Rashane says, that part about how many chords to feed it makes sense. I was wondering why I couldn't get it sound good. Remember, no matter what preset you load in Scalar, if you're in doubt, start with a 1 and end with a 4 or a 5. You can't go wrong. It's hard. It's really hard to go wrong with that formula. If it has a four and a five. Some of my progressions don't end on four or five. I end on six and three a lot too. Because they're major if you're starting on a minor. But that's a whole different science for a whole other day. Shogun's out. Average Joe says, I'm glad I caught you tonight, man. Hey, I'm glad you caught me tonight too. Mufasa, shout to you. I caught you in the chat. I see you. Uh, shout to the Russian bot. Shout to Dark Fi. Av McCree for stopping by. Aviated Sounds. Shout out to Akira to Don. He said, Mas Flema. I appreciate that. Uh, King Philip was in the building. I see you. Some Trill. Trap Buddha. Sullivan Software. L. Cool J. The whole squad. Late night. 222. Two, two, make a wish. Shout out to y'all. <laughs> Until next time, y'all. Peace.